Hey, so uh, so uh, welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Rosie O'Donnell, who's uh, just popped by to tell us uh, what she thinks about the late night situation over in NBC. Well, um, have you been following it at all, Craig? I never watch NBC. <laughs> But yeah, yeah I, I, I took a look at it. I was, uh, I was. See, the thing is, when I watch it, it's different because I'm watching the competition, shooting themselves in the foot, and just laughing my ass off. Well, you know? that would be a good place for you to be. I saw you sort of duck your head and wake till it all simmered down. Well, right? you know, what could you do? It's hard to take yeah. shots when they're all wounded, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. but you, you, you didn't. You said, uh, well, well, you, you know, kind of, you were Team Coco, weren't you? Really? Well, here's the thing. You know, I've been at this career now for 30 years. I'm, really? Yeah, I'm gonna. Wow. I started at 17. I'm about to be 48 years old. Wow. And I know all the players, right? I, I did stand-up comedy in Boston when I was 18. And Jay Leno was the big star, and right. so I'd known him a long time. And I know Conan, and he's a great guy. And so it's weird when you get to be in a position where you actually know the players, yeah. right? So it's not just sort of people on TV. You really know them, and you know their families, and you know you have a history with them. And I just felt it was a crappy thing to do. You know, that Conan had, had been working 17 years mm -hmm. for that company, and then, you know, Jay was told five years ago that it was his turn to give up the driver's seat, right? right. That is not his bus. That's a 60-year bus that's been driving around the country, the Tonight Show, and if you're lucky enough to get to drive it, when they say, hey, you're done, you give the keys back and you say, thank you, you don't flatten the tires of the guy who comes next, you know? Right. So to me, I don't know, it's a happy thing to do. I don't know. And, you know, I think if, if they all had that cool Cobra mug, yeah, they that? all would have done a lot better. See you? The, what you know, the hell is that? Well, this, I tell you what this it's is. From this from Jungle Book? This is, this is free, is what that is. Oh, it was free. Do you know what I think about The Tonight Show? Do you know what I honestly what do you, think? What about, do you honestly think? I honestly think The Tonight Show stopped when Johnny Carson retired. I what agree. the hell else are they talking about? I agree, yes. Really? That's 35 the tonight years. Yeah, that's, that's Johnny right. Carson. That's Johnny Carson's show, The Tonight yeah, Show. Do another show now. I agree. Do you another know. show. But the swarmy thing was, you know, Jay saying, you know, well, my show didn't work. And then they said to me, hey, hey, you want to go on for a half hour? I said, oh, oh sure. Is, is Conan okay with that? No, he's not okay with that. No, no. Is he okay with the? No, he's not okay. He's shocked. Is that loud? Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. So my what about you? Why don't Why don't you come back and do a show? You think? Yeah, I think I it's time. Know. Just, you know, I I left uh, my show eight years ago. Right? That's a long time. Well, it's a nice long break. You've yeah. done a couple of documentaries. Yeah. Uh, you know, you've done this, done that. Come back and do some TV. Yeah, I don't know. Because you're doing I'm the radio now. I was listening to you on the radio. It's so fun. It's great. I listened to you and Howard talk for about an hour. Yeah. Well, no commercial breaks. No, no. Just talking. And I, 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 I've got to be honest. I'd forgotten how great Howard was. Uh, I haven't listened to him listen, in a while. And that guy, he really is. And I have to say, the fact that yeah. he and I are now friends that, makes uh, me uh, yeah, believe... And how long is that going to last, by no, the no, way? Come no. on. It's been like two years. Yeah, come on. Well, ever since, I, when I got married, he mm. changed his whole tune to me. Really? Like, for years, for 10, 15 years of my career, he was calling me Pumpkinhead, Fat Lesbo. He was calling me. I would, like, be pushing... <laughs> he calls a, me that now. I, I know. Like, yeah. I heard him say that. <laughs> no, I'd be pushing, like, a two-year-old in the stroller at Target, right. and I'd see some t-shirt, black t-shirt kid go, hey, road, blah, blah, blue, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And he scared the <laughs> out of me. Right. I never even mentioned his name. People would say in interviews, what do you think about how it's turned? I would say, no comment. I was terrified of the guy, right? right? And he's the, he is scary. He's, he's scary. scary. Yeah. I think he's quite frightening because he's, he's unpredictable, right. he's, a, he's a maverick, and he's extremely erudite, and, and, and he thinks very fast. So he, if he doesn't like you, he'll make you look really stupid. And if, if he doesn't believe that you're authentic, if he thinks you're full he will let you know, I know. you know? I know. And so he thought I was full of it for a very long time. And so then I did his program on the radio, on the phone, because I was afraid. And then I went and did it and sat down. And uh, after I did a show, he's the one who got me the job. You're kidding me. He really? called up the head of person at Sirius and he yeah. said, you know, she would be good at this. And the truth is, I had never listened to radio in my whole life. I was. What? You know, I would listen to the hits, the pop, top pop, you know, stuff. Yeah. But I wouldn't listen to talk radio ever. So I didn't even know if I could do it. And I only started listening to Howard once I got the gig. Yeah. Right. And that guy is a genius. He's, now, he's mind you, he really goes and pushes it to the edge. And yeah. his obsession with sex reminds me of the teenagers living in my home. Yeah. But uh, that guy is really unbelievably gifted. Yeah, I think so. I, I, I'm a bit scared of him as well, though. I'm yeah. actually a bit scared to even talk about him. Yeah, well, you, you know. know. He, have you ever done? You've never done a show? I did, I did a show once when I started. 
started on this, uh, doing this show, uh -huh. uh, I, I was in New York, I was doing a little press tour and they said, uh, uh, you know, go and do Howard's show and I was scared to go and do Howard's, but he was quite nice to me right. on the air and yeah. then off the air he was really nice to me. Yeah. And, he, and he, always, he said, you know, I wish I could do an impersonation of him, but I can't, but he said, uh, I'll just make him German. Okay, uh, go ahead, go ahead. He said, he said, you have to make it your own. So in order for, in order for the show to work, well, I can't do Howard, but I can't do German. Okay, just but wait, 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 this. he's a Jew, don't do German. All right, don't right. do German. Yeah. It's freaking me out. I'm visualizing. All right, Italian. Give me an Italian. Italian go ahead. Okay. Go. He says to me, "Hey, Craig, I tell you this. Okay. okay. You're gonna make it uh, all your own. Okay, yeah. do that. Yeah. So that so, was, did he hand you cannoli or anything? No, no, he's not really Italian. Oh, okay. Right. So, so, so. No, so he is actually very kind, and the thing that you really do learn is uh, he's got this huge tender heart. Which you know, the guy on his show is sidekick Artie Lang, very funny comedian. Poor Artie, how is he? Very, you know, he's doing better, and uh, he's got a lot of trouble with addiction and depression in his life, and yeah. his dad died when he was young, and, and he tried to take his own life. Yeah, yeah, And it really, really was so painful to everyone who loved him, including Howard. Mm. And so on the internet, I was watching somebody made a tribute tape, and, you know, as Artie was struggling and crying in the, in the years that he worked there, like, Howard gets up and goes and hugs him. You yeah. know, like, the, he's a real tender-hearted guy, yeah. and... Uh, he wears it all on his face, so I think that whole thing of his big bravado and scary Howard is, is just an act. You know? Oh, I think it, I think it's an act, but I think that he's so he's so good at being scary yeah. that when you say it's an act, he'll eviscerate you yeah, for yeah. saying oh, yeah, that. Yeah. You know? No, I, he, to me, he was like Lord Voldemort. I wouldn't say his name. You know, yeah. I just was like, mm, and on the press line, looking through, hey, Howard Stern thinks you're sucking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was Lord. scary, but now I think there could be peace all over the world because he and I are hanging out, and it's yeah, actually yeah. enjoyable. I, I think the long may continue. Not long may continue. We're, uh, we're kind of out of time, really. Oh, well, do you know, here's the thing. I just have to say this. They don't like you to really uh, bring gifts to this show, apparently. No, no, I, I don't want the staff getting... Uh, well, yeah, I didn't bring for the staff. Okay, fair I just enough. brought for these people. Oh, okay. Yeah. And J.D. Salinger is still dead. Yeah. We got you the satellite radio so you could listen to Sirius and a subscription for two months for everybody here. Wow! wow. That's easy. We never get stuff I like know, that out here. I know, I snuck That's it in. fantastic. And I got a big one for you. You did? Yeah, and they made me learn how to program it. They sent a guy to my house and they're like, you have to teach Craig how to do this. I'm like, what? I, like, I do listen to the satellite radio. I listen to you, of course, uh -huh. and I listen to Howard in case he goes after me. Uh -huh. And also... <laughs> I listen to 115, the classic radio. Yeah, oh, that's, that's fun awesome. stuff. Who knows? Uh, the shadow knows. No, Behind yeah. the couch, all that. Yeah. Well, you got a brand new one, even better than the crap I gave them. Oh. In your room. <laughs>